welcome back to the Daily Draw 2021 and a huge happy new year from everybody at the Little Art School. So I've really wanted to say this, but do you want to draw a snowman? I think that was, there was a line a little bit like that in a, in a quite famous film at some point. So let's get drawing. All you need is a pencil and a bit of paper and let's all draw together. Now, you can draw this on your own, or if you want, you could give grannies, granddads, aunties, uncles, someone that you can't see at the moment, because this is this is what why we're making these videos at the Little Art School, making them to help you have something to do, which isn't just being on screen, although you might be looking at a screen, but you've got a pencil in your hand and you're being creative, but also to help us all join together with people. So maybe give granny or granddad a ring and say, do you want to draw a snowman with me? and we'll all get drawing together. So grab your pencils, let's start drawing. So all I'm gonna use here is a pencil and I've got my rubber handy in case I make any mistakes. And I'm using a piece of watercolor paper. Now watercolor paper is slightly different from ordinary sheets of paper because it's got a little bit of a bump in it and that's because I'm going to be using watercolour pencils to paint mine. If you've not got any watercolour paper at home don't worry you can just paint do this on ordinary paper and use colouring pencils or um, or felt tips to colour it in but when you're painting you do need a special kind of paper otherwise the whole thing buckles you know when you've done a painting and it buckles but we're going to do this on um, our watercolour paper. So let's make a start and what I want you to do before we begin is just make sure that you're holding your pencil nice and loosely. When you hold your pencil tightly and grip and press hard you get a very different effect from nice and loose, loose grip and we're not going to press too hard just because we're going to rub some of these lines out. So find the middle of your page that's about there I'm going to go up from the middle and I'm going to start with a really simple line very light line because I'm going to rub that out and then I'm going to put a dot up here and I'm going to do a nice curve keeping my pencil grip really smooth so it's almost a circle but not quite like a circle nice smooth curve all the way around down to there. Now here, rather than doing balls, if you think of like Olaf as a snowman, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to come up from the bottom, about just, just about, so thinking from the bottom of the page there to about there, I'm going to draw a little wavy line and that'll show me where the bottom of my snowman wants to go. And here I'm just going to take this out using really light strokes with my pencil. exactly the same on the other side. There we go. That's our first shape. So from here, we'll be able to grow our snowman. So if you pause there, pause, start with a little line, curve round, and then these lines here. Right, let's turn these shapes into our snowman now. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go from here, just up a little bit, and then at an angle, I'm going to draw a line there. This is going to be the base of his hat. I'm going to take it up to there and down a little. And we'll draw a little line like that. And then from here, take it out so we've got this lovely top hat here in a curve I've probably gone a bit too high there on that side so I'm going to rub that out and then I'm echoing that line there it's almost in a parallel which is lovely top hat very smart then we'll rub that curve out and we'll put a little line in there so he is now hatted Got his very smart, was well, very smart, very formal snowman. This one, I feel okay. And then here, let's take it down so it's not such a straight line. And another one there. I'm going to go in with this nice little scarf here by coming down one and across, and another one there. So it's starting to be dressed. Right now, we've got to give him his features to turn him into a snowman. And start with our little piece of coal so it's not a circle so it's slightly uneven edges there and three little 
pebbles to make his mouth. You can do more if you like. And then his carrot nose, which is like a bit like a long, thin triangle there. And that's him started. Right, if you pause there, pop in his hat, his eyes, his nose and his scarf, and then we'll finish him off. Okay, now we're going to give him a nice curly pipe here. So I'm going to come down here, curl round. You see that shape? It's like a wrong way round S. And I'm just going to echo it at the other side there. But when we get down to here, I'm going to go like that. So he's got his little pipe. And it, he's at the moment, he's armless. So let's give him a, a nice stick arm, a little line down. Coming out and across, one, two, three, and another one here and for his little friend to sit on. So if we come just underneath the scarf there, with two lines, and one coming out here. And down here we need these buttons, so I'm just going to go one, two, three, four. And let's pop in a couple of shapes to make the bird. And all it is for the bird is we've got a, a little oval there at an angle, a circle on the top, a little triangle, make him a bit bigger if you want, and a tail coming down there. And then we've got our little bird. Right, we are ready to paint. Now I'm going to be using watercolour pencils for this next bit and um, the watercolour pencils are brilliant. Let me just show you quickly if you've not seen daily drawers before and you haven't seen us use them. So because I've got my watercolour paper here, it's really thick, this is a tester piece here and what I'm going to show you is I draw with a pencil, it just looks like an ordinary pencil mark doesn't it? I'll put a bit of red there as well. But when I take my brush with a tiny bit of water on as soon as I touch it, it turns to paint. So if I clean it there, I'll do the same with the blue. And look, here's the magic bit. I can mix them as well so that as they come together, they, can you see they're turning purple? Because I'm mixing the paints. Watercolour pencils are fabulous and they're a brilliant thing to use at home. We sell them on our online shop. So if you go to our website, the little www.littleartschool.co.uk, um, we sell the paper, we sell the pencils, everything. We've tested these for years, so we know that these are really, really good. We love these at the Little Art School. Um, but what we're going to start with, I'm going to start by going around the hat with my black one. I'm going to leave that band white, but you could colour it whatever colour you want. And you don't have to stick to these colours. Um, I'm just giving him quite a formal top hat look here. And the harder I press with these pencils, the more paint I'm putting on the paper. So I'd like the hat to be quite dark, so I'm going to press quite hard here. And I'm colouring the whole of the hat. Now the other black bits I've got in here are his eye and I'm going to leave a tiny white dot in there like a little highlight and then these pebbles here and the same here it's got like buttons made of coal. I'm not actually colouring all of that in I'm just going right around the edge and a little bit inside. Right let's take my brush now and you can see, oh, slightly too much. So I'm going to get my, here's my artist's best friend, a little bit of kitchen roll, so that it's not too wet. It's a, it's a balance between the brush being too wet and the brush being too, too dry. So there we go. We just want it a little bit damp. And can you see that how all this from the pencils, which is called the pigment, the paint pigment, look at that, gorgeous, as it turns to paint. And it'll dry quite quickly. I'm going to come here and I'm going to do the same with that there. And then I can do here, just turning his eyes, but leaving that little one 
on each of these but the little pebbles. There we go, that's the black done. Right, let's have a go at the nose now. I'm going to do the nose slightly differently. Instead of colouring it all, which I could do, just colour it all, I'm going to go around the edge first. Like that. I'm going to make these little contours here. So I want it to look like a carrot. And then if I just take the brush and make sure it's really clean now, not too wet. And as I turn, can you see that the contours stay, but we still get it turned orange. Quite happy with that. Right, now I'm going to do his little pipe. I'm going to go around the edge. Like that. a bit of water and when that's dry I'm going to go round that a little bit with black I think and I'll come here now with my red but you can do his scarf any colour or you could do stripes or you could do spots or if you've got a favourite scarf that you use you could do it the same as yours I'm going with red because I love red I'm colouring it lightly there so that I've got plenty of pigment down on the paper Little damp brush. There we go. It's starting to come together now, I feel. So we'll just come in here to his arms. And his other arm. And I think I'm going to try turning this little bird into a robin. And robins are brown with that lovely red here. So maybe if I go around like that with the brown. Tiny bit of red there. Then let's take our brush. And I'll come back with the black in a minute. So one thing I've got to do now is to try to make it so that the snowman stands out. At the moment he really doesn't stand out at all. He's kind of invisible on the paper. So I can do this by using a blue, and I'm going to come in here with my blue, but I'm not going to colour him because he isn't a blue snowman. But what I'm doing is putting a little shadow here. So I'm not going to do anything with that line here. I'm going to leave it exactly as it is. But here, I've pressed quite hard and there's a reason for that. I'm pressing quite hard there at the bottom. Just put a little bit, but hardly any extra there. And then to get this shadow, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the paint from there and pull it out. You see, so just with the water on the brush, I'm pulling it out. So I'm not painting the snowman blue. But just with the water, taking a bit of the blue there onto my watercolour paper. That one's darker because I put more paint on. And I'm going to finish it here at the bottom. You see, so the brush is really wet now. You see all that water. Just going to finish him, giving our bird a little beak and an eye. Just going around that little pipe. And 
a little bit going around here, around his arms. And that is our snowman. Hope that you really enjoyed that. We, I really loved doing that. It was so nice for me being back with Elizabeth and, and us, us doing this together, doing our daily draws again. So um, there are 150 now daily draws for you to choose from on, on our website. So if, you, if you're a fan of Roll Doll or if you love your, your Mario or your Minecraft or just want to draw a doggy or, or a minion, have a look on all our past daily draws and you'll find loads to keep you occupied for this next week of the holidays. We are gonna be back on the 11th of January. So on the day that online schooling starts across Scotland, we'll be here for you every day. So we will see you then.